Do you think there are no ghettos in America? There are places worse than Lima in America. But they show the best parts. Just last screen. night I was looking at something, and there, there's a picture, a picture A and a picture B. It says this is the America the rest of the world sees, and then they've shown a really bad part of LA. This is the Amer the real America that's on the ground that you people don't know anything about. Exactly, we are the face of the country, this industry. Listen, whether it's news, whether it's uh, the government, uh, communications, whatever, it requires film crew, mm -hmm. it requires, we are all actors, even the people giving the news, they're mm -hmm. playing a part, it's a stage. The person reading the news, the person giving the weather, it's a form of acting. The government uh, instituted the National Film Authority. What would be your advice to the NFA? Well, the NFA's job, I think, should from from this side of the of the fence mm. should have oversight and encourage all these individual fraternities in the industry to get the structures together to get organized listen in america you cannot even hire an actor and pay them below if they are uh, part of a, a screen actors guild mm. or a director's guild of producers there's a certain minimum yeah. if you don't they can they can they can query they can take your license they can find you a strength in numbers, there's a strength in our organization. So they must encourage these things to, to take place so that we have organized structures, working structures. And then they must also be seen to be uh, championing the efforts of these individual um, um, groups and as, uh, of the industry as a whole. If you have to take any leadership position in the film industry, which side will you look at? Well, I'm an actor, but I also understand the synergy between actors, producers, directors, film crew. Mm. One doesn't work without the other. If any one of those, it's like a puzzle. If any one piece is out of place, the picture is not complete. So if I were in any position, my job, my, my biggest interest, my biggest focus would be to make sure that each one of these sectors of the industry is galvanized and then we'd have uh, what everybody is afraid of a union okay okay because when there's a union you come into the group you can't come to us any kind of way because if you're coming to if you're messing with directors you're messing with producers if you're making producers, you react with actors you're messing with the film crews so we're a body we're a body a, a, a unit a unit just like your human body is made of different parts mm -hmm. but they all work together. together that's it when your finger is yes. affected yes when your finger hurts you feel the pain everywhere mm -hmm. when your eye is not good the rest of your body is when your foot is not good like and i have the pain in my foot mm -hmm. the body has to compensate so do you see this unity in the industry as one of the major cause of the dwindling nature of the industry yes there's this unity and there's too much self-centeredness and parochial interests nobody likes to say it, but that's exactly what it is because if amongst ourselves we are you know scrabbling and you know agitations and you know animosities then what do you want the rest of the world to do for you you can't even organize yourself what do you want the rest of the world to do for you when you come organized they'll pay attention they'll sit up and say okay they mean business but if they hear that Musicians are fighting with actors, actors are fighting with directors, directors are fighting with producers. Everybody wants their own money, and this one is, oh, they, we were supposed to share this, this one is, has chopped this money. This, and they're like, oh, look at them. Actors and actresses are now producing their own movie. Do you, do, do, do you have any intention of producing your own movie anytime soon? Well, I, I yes, I, I do. Maybe not soon, I do. I think it's, it's, it's a natural progression when you are on this side and you understand the workings and you are you know you're constantly in that environment with others you you learn you start picking up. like now when i'm on set when something is going, i can pick up intuition what the director is where he's trying to go what he's trying to accomplish so you start you cannot have affiliation and not have a rub off eventually you start picking up you know what the producer needs you know that the product the production manager what he wants to say, you know, you start getting a sense of it. Look, I, I need you here by this time.
because people would like delay. If you delay this, it will affect this. It's a domino effect. The director wants this. He wants you to deliver a certain way to get a certain impact. You start picking up these, you know, nuances. So, if you are to be appointed minister of um, um, arts and culture, yeah, what would be the one thing, the first thing you would do for the Ghana entertainment industry? Let me put it that way. Well, I think the work needs to be done, as I've said, inside first before you can do anything outside. But then, if, when we are organized inside, and now we have, because presentation, it's like going for a job interview. If you're going in there, your shirt is not tight, you haven't cut your hair, the guy will just look at you like, you want me to hire you? Is this guy serious? This is a corporate environment. Whether you like it or not, you present a certain way. Same thing. We have to get into a certain order. Then when we're in a certain order, the next thing is, you want affiliations. You start working with, partnering with, collaborating with. You better, oh, Naja industry is better organized. Than, okay, so if it is, then what are they doing right? Learn and organize and copy. Okay, they're, uh, they're also trying to copy America. Great. What is America doing? Is the government doing enough for the industry? Well, I can't place the blame on the government. The government may not be doing enough because we are not ready. When we are ready in our place, we are organized and we're strong, we're going with a unified voice, the government will sit up. When we make the government understand, you need us just as much as we need you. We are the face of Ghana. If anybody's going to believe anything nice about Ghana, anything good about Ghana, this industry is the one. We are the face of Ghana. If you want to put out any documentary, any information, any communication about Ghana, you need these players. You need film crew, you need directors, you need producers. You see the credits rolling. Any, 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 any documentary you put on, any information, anything, you have these same players. Mr. Edward Kufo, it's been nice having a chat with you. We want you to give a simple advice. To the movie industry and the creative arts industry in Ghana, looking into the camera. Well, creative arts industry, movie industry, whatever you want to call it, we have to understand we are literally holding the keys. We are holding the keys. We have the nation in our hands. We have the the the, the, the onerous job to present Ghana to the rest of the world. But we can't do that if we're not in a place, we're not organized, we're not, we don't have that synergy. There isn't that seamless flow between the different fraternities of the industry. So the first thing is get organized and stop placing blame. If you belong in the actors, get, get, affiliate with you know, your actors, your, your uh, professional association, Screen Actors Guild, which is actually organizing as we speak. Mm -hmm. Pay your membership, get your ID card, attend meetings, have a voice, have a say. That's how we're going to steer this thing. Same thing for producers, same thing for directors. And in movies you think, oh, music is different. No, movies are scored. They have to make music to, even in the delivery of the, mo the movie, the film, the music can bring on a certain, you can sense danger when they play a certain way, right? You can sense, calm when this music is you know melodious and relaxing it all helps in the interpretation so let us get ourselves together first get organized as a unified body yes different parts in the body but unified then we go to whoever whoever the authority is and they'll sit up and listen then we can be effective it should well first and foremost it's all about Ghana it's not just about your, your little movie, yes, you're doing it, you're, but what does it say in the, in the world out there? It's about, oh, that's from Ghana. Oh, that's a Ghanaian producer. Oh, that's a Ghanaian actor. It's Ghana, 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 Ghana first. So if we're doing all this stuff, this organization and this unity and all that, it's the image we're putting out to the world, and they cannot take us seriously. So let's get organized. Let's get unionized then we can expect other people to take us seriously.
and I think we're going to go far because the only way we can go is up. A lot of work has been done, a lot of, you know, growing pains we've gone through. But I think we're settling now and we are starting to realize that besides the art side, there's a business side. Let's, let's do continued education to better ourselves, understand your, your craft, understand the artistic side and the business side. Just like you want to use better cameras because you know now the quality of pictures, excuse me, is, is you know, a certain standard. Now you also understand the business side, getting your business contracts, documents in place is also required. When the two come together, then you're most effective. You cannot be effective or efficient when you are lacking in, in parts of your, you know, your persona. If, if parts of your body are not working, you're not whole. So let's get organized. Our structures, our membership, our get, in, get into a union with all the different parts as members. Then we can approach anybody and they'll pay attention to us. I really believe it. And I really believe we're not dying. We are really at the point to take off. But we decide if we're going to take off or if we're just going to die out. It's in our hands. We can't blame anybody. We can only blame ourselves. We are holding the keys. And if we're not going to put it in the door and open the door, then we can't blame anybody. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Booza! <laughs> All right, viewers. So um, this has been Star Chat with uh, David Owusu on Media 5 TV. We'll see you again. Thank you very much for watching.